Gunnery was trying to corral her dog when she took a bad fall. And I fell back, hit my head, went flat on my back, and I never knew such pain. And uh, I went to the emergency room and they told me I had a compression fracture of L1. This is an image of what a typical L1 fracture looks like. At first, Judith was given pain medication and advised to rest, but when her spine wouldn't heal, she decided to try surgery. Your fracture was up here at L1. Dr. David Maine at Mercy Medical Center performed the surgery called percutaneous kyphoplasty. Basically, bone cement is injected into the fractured vertebrae. The cement uh, percolates through all the little fracture crevices, it hardens very quickly and stabilizes that fracture so there's no more micro movement of the uh, bone. Dr. Main says in most cases surgery isn't recommended. Most of the time it's just not necessary. We can manage patients who suffer acute symptomatic compression fractures with conservative uh, care, but when conservative care fails and pain is overwhelming and debilitating to the patient, then this can be a, a good option, assuming all the puzzle pieces fit and it's the uh, right clinical choice. It was a good choice for Judith. The surgery was quick, it was outpatient, and she felt better right away. I could feel relief from it. It was um, probably instant relief, I'd say, because the bone was strong again. That's one of the most gratifying things with, with this procedure is often as soon as they emerge from anesthesia, their back pain can be gone, if not uh, significantly improved.